June 19, 1865 is recognized as the official end of slavery in the United States. WDRB's Crystal Goodner explains the significance of this date and how the city is celebrating. Crystal? Yes, Juneteenth is known as the nation's oldest emancipation celebration, and the federal holiday has picked up steam here locally after President Biden, after President Biden rather, signed it into law in 2021. Lift every voice and seek to earth in heaven ring. Juneteenth, of course, is a mashup of the words June and 19th. There have been dozens of Juneteenth celebrations in Kentuckiana to commemorate the date. Louisville Metro hosted two weeks of celebrations, including walking tours, a summer camp for kids, in a concert with the Kentucky Opera. We wanted to make sure that it was celebrated in the way that we celebrate the 4th of July. Wednesday's finale, held at the Ali Center, was on teaching and hosted by the Association of Teaching Black History in Kentucky. It highlighted contributions made by blacks in Kentucky. Today's event is really about making sure that we're honoring the folks that are elevating the stories of people who are really committed to making sure that the history gets told. 11 year old Elliot Lanier lent her voice to the celebration by opening with the black national anthem. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. They weren't known as Americans, so we recognize that and then celebrate it. The presentation highlighted that black soldiers made up almost half of the Union's total forces during the Civil War. Dr. Jamar Tisby shares the pride that blacks feel in that. In fact, Juneteenth colors are red, white, and blue. That was intentional to convey the fact that black people are Americans and it was to show that we can be patriotic and we can celebrate our specific history as well. Juneteenth is a celebration with a personal invitation to all. This is about American history. This is about all of us buying into where we are today. It inspired me to go around, use my vocals, I think, um, to make a change in the world. Also today, a Juneteenth cook-off was ho hosted by Vocal Kentucky, and Louisville Central Community Center will host its annual Juneteenth Awards ceremony with our very own Stephon Johnson as the host. Reporting downtown with photojournalist Dave White, Crystal Goodner, WDRB News. A lot of events to celebrate. All right, Crystal, thank you.